futuristic fight club getting its start in San Francisco. Yeah, all new VR controlled fighting robots faced off at a boxing gym on Van Ness Avenue tonight. It was a preview for a bigger robot battle that's coming up on Friday. ABC 7 News reporter J.R. Stone got a look at these four and a half foot tall fighters. <laughs> Fighting robots going after it at Baybreakers Boxing Gym in San Francisco, and this crowd ain't messing around. Get wrecked! Go! Metal on metal with these fighting wreck robots controlled by players on a VR headset. In this case, UFC fighter Haider Emil and MMA fighter Jessica Rose Clark. This is like a different kind of fighter. Way different. <laughs> Way different. I've never done a single... I've never had a VR headset on before, let alone controlled a robot fighting another robot. It was sick. Perhaps the sickest part of this fight was when not one, but both robots, well balanced on flat surfaces, came crashing down as they stepped on a random keyboard thrown in the ring. <laughs> Who's went down first? Uh, Jesse's went down first, <laughs> and then mine dramatically after. I've been wanting to do that, you know, like, you know, figuratively, you know, my uh, robot, so. Robots are obviously insanely hard to do, and VR is insanely hard to do. But if you do them both right, what you get is this ability to feel like you are the robot. Each one of these wreck robots weighs about 80 pounds. These things are heavy. Even shaking the floor of the ring a bit. The rec company's dream is to have sponsored robot fighters competing around the world. Come Friday, these two rec robots will compete in their own sort of octagon at San Francisco's Temple Nightclub. It's what's being billed as the world's first VR-controlled humanoid fight. We're going to move towards ones that are basically the height and size of an of a adult male by the end of the year. So I, I, I would say we're more likely going to see a world like Robocop than Terminator just in the, the sheer economics and complexity of these things. So basically, what you're seeing now is just the beginning. J.R. Stone, ABC 7 News.